Atlanta Hawks fans, you guys should be absolutely ecstatic right now because you're going back to Atlanta to force a Game 7 on an NBA Finals team. And this was without one of your biggest players, DeJounte Murray. Trey Young stepped up very big. In today's video, we'll be going over the three players that stepped up for the Atlanta Hawks to get a win over the Boston Celtics while being shorthanded. Before we get into all of that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as I noticed that more than 90% of you guys are not subscribed and if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Enough me talking, let's get right on to the first player that stepped up on the Atlanta Hawks. And you know we have to talk about this man instantly and this is Trey Young. Trey Young is probably one of the most hated players in the league although I get he gets angry with his coaches and his off the court stuff is bad but on the court there really should be no reason why you hate on Trey Young. Trey Young had 38 points, 4 rebounds, 13 assists and 2 steals. But the thing that made Trey Young so unstoppable this game against the Celtics was the pick and rolls that he was running with Clint Capella. And even right when the game started, Clint Capella gave Trey Young a screen. Trey Young comes off the screen, hits Derek White with a jab step, which gives him a fadeaway mid range shot. And then once again, Trey Young comes off a screen by Clint Capella and he instantly throws up a floater. And what makes Trey Young a dangerous player is that although he's not physically strong, he's a player that can finish around the rim thanks to his floater ability. Trey Young was also an amazing playmaker and he was getting people in the corner like DeAndre Hunter wide open. And most of these assists by Trey Young was once again because of the pick and rolls by Clint Capella and Trey Young and this just causes everybody to double team and literally there's always a guy open in the corner. And knowing that Trey Young isn't the best defender, Trey Young still managed to get two steals which gave the Atlanta Hawks some transition buckets. Now let's talk about the second player that stepped up the most on the Atlanta Hawks and this was Bodon Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic knew that there was no DeJounte Murray so he found a way to get people open and he got five assists and he's usually a spot up three point shooter but without DeJounte Murray he stepped up big time and even looking at the three point shooting by him he shot 50% from the three point line and in a playoff game that is very big. But the thing that really impressed me about Bodon Bogdanovic was his ability to play defense. The dude had a three point shot block on Marcus Smart and this was infectious as after he got that block the whole Hawks team was locked in on defense. And in the total game, Bogdanovic had two blocks and one steal. And this is very important once again, as it gave the Hawks an ability to play basketball in the transition, which is a weakness of any team. And to cap this video off, let's talk about the third and final player that stepped up on the Hawks. And this was John Collins. John Collins played an amazing role. He was like a spot up dude that would get the ball from the Trey Young pick and rolls. And he was knocking down the jumpers. He had 22 points two rebounds, one assist, and a steal. And John Collins also stepped up from the three-point line. The dude made four important three-point shots, and what this did for the Hawks is that it spaced out the floor so Trey Young and Clint Capella had way more room to operate. But at the end of the game, that's when Trey Young had to do what he had to do. The guy stepped back and he hit a very deep three to help get the W. And once again, the Atlanta Hawks are going back to Atlanta and they mostly win their games. So don't sleep on the Hawks yet. It is not over. Trust me, it's a 3-2 series. Anything could happen. But let me know what you guys think about this Hawks team. Do you think that they can pull off an upset and win the series over the Boston Celtics? Or are they going to lose in Atlanta? But that's been all for your boy Mosey Hoops. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you want to catch up with more NBA content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one.